Hi there, my name is Jesse Haas. I'm the National Director of Programs at Pet Partners. This is a video about team qualification ratings. Whenever a team goes through the Pet Partners team evaluation and they pass, they receive one of two team qualification ratings, either predictable or complex. And team qualification ratings indicate to the team the types of facilities or environments where they can visit. So a predictably rated team needs to visit in predictable environments or settings, whereas a complex rated team can visit in either more complex settings or they can also choose to visit in predictable settings or facilities as well. When determining whether or not a facility is predictable or complex, we look at two factors. The first is how active the facility is, and the second is how involved is the staff at the facility. So in terms of activity level, an active facility is one where people might be coming and going. There might be crowds or clusters of people. Um, people may be using loud voices. There might be loud noises, sudden movements. Maybe there's emerging situations that happen frequently that the team needs to be responsive to. On the other end of the spectrum, a quiet or inactive facility is one where people speak in a normal or quiet tone of voice. There aren't a lot of loud noises or sudden movements. Um, the teams who visit in these facilities kind of come to know what to expect there because there's quite a routine. And of course, some facilities fall somewhere in the middle of those two uh, ends of the spectrum. In terms of staff involvement, a facility with high staff involvement is one where a facility representative, whether that's a volunteer coordinator, a nurse, a teacher, um, stays with the team throughout their visit at the facility or at least stays within close proximity. A facility with low staff involvement is one where the team gets to move pretty independently throughout the building. Up on your screen, you'll see our team qualification matrix where a team can, of course, uh, determine based on activity level and staff involvement where their facility lies. And then in that box, they can see which qualification ratings are listed and determine if their qualification rating actually matches the type of facility they are visiting at or are interested in visiting at. It's really important to point out that facilities don't always know whether they are predictable or complex. Facilities who recruit teams via the Pet Partners website by posting volunteer opportunities, they will indicate whether it's predictable or complex. But so many facilities recruit teams in other ways. And this is terminology that's pretty internal to Pet Partners. It's something we use, but facilities may not be familiar with. Therefore, it is up to handlers to talk with the facility, ask some questions, maybe go to the facility for a short period of time without your animal to determine how active is it, how much staff involvement is it, and then see if that fits with uh, the team qualification rating. Also something worth mentioning is that not all facilities are purely predictable or purely complex. So within the same building, you can have two different types of environments. Let's use the example of a hospital. Um, maybe a hospital is inviting a team in in order to provide comfort and smiles to uh, overworked medical staff. And the team is going to go to a staff lounge and only interact with doctors and nurses and other um, medical employees. That's a pretty predictable environment in most cases. The same hospital might ask for a team to visit a very active ward and visit it independently, and that would be more of a complex environment, but they can both exist within the same facility. Next up, I want to talk about how a team receives either a predictable or a complex team qualification rating. It really comes down to the diamond exercises and how the team performs on those during the team evaluation. They're called diamond exercises simply because these exercises that are listed on your screen have a little diamond graphic next to them on the score sheet. These are the exercises that we feel a team needs to excel at in order to thrive in a complex environment. So to excel at these exercises, a team must receive a score of two on all of them to get that complex rating. To be clear, on every single exercise in the evaluation, diamond or not, a team can receive one of three scores. Not ready, meaning the team didn't complete the exercise successfully. A score of one, which indicates that the team 
did complete it successfully, but maybe didn't excel at all parts of the exercise. Whereas a two indicates that the team did excel um, at that particular exercise. So all twos on diamond exercises mean that the team receives a complex uh, team qualification rating. Because I'm using the word Excel, it's reminding me to remind all of you that all teams are excellent and there is nothing inherently more valuable about a complex rated team versus a uh, predictably rated team. When you are out in the community sharing your pet with others, brightening their day, lowering their stress, that is so full of impact no matter what type of environment it's taking place in. And at the end of the day, the people you're visiting have no idea how you scored on the diamond exercises. They don't know your team qualification rating. They just care that there is a kind person with a loving animal willing to spend time with them. And it is worth pointing out that some of our most experienced teams, those who have been with us for years and contributed thousands of hours in their communities, have a predictable rating because that's the environment where they are the most set up for success. Um, and it's finally really important to remember that a team qualification rating is not forever. All teams with pet partners must evaluate every two years and a team qualification rating is applied at every evaluation if the team passes. So a team might start out with a predictable rating at the beginning of their volunteer journey and later on be a complex team or vice versa, or it could go back and forth. Lastly, up on your screen, you'll see some descriptions of special qualifications. These are different than team qualification ratings. Every team receives a team qualification ratings, whereas only, whereas only some teams receive a special qualification marked on their score sheet. There is a section for it on the score sheet. So if you have nothing indicated there, that's just fine. No worries. If you do have something indicated there, it simply means that the evaluator saw something in your interactions during the evaluation that they want you to be mindful of so that when you're visiting, you are looking for only those types of interactions that are the right fit for your team. I hope this information was helpful. If you have any questions about team qualification ratings, please reach out to our staff and we'd be happy to help you.